I'm at Future Schools Expo. Okay guys, heads up, the sound and video quality isn't quite the same today. Hi everyone, welcome to Talk and Chalk. I'm Beck. I'm an assistant principal in Southwest Sydney, but I've had my very first trip to Melbourne. They don't like that there's fog here, so my flight was cancelled, then delayed, as was uh, one of my friends coming in as well, so we had to try and time up how to get from the airport to the actual expo, so I was late and I missed the keynote and the first part of the plenary, but that's okay. The rest of the day was really, really good. Today is day two. I'm in my hotel room at the moment, just packing up, ready to check out so I can go in for day two and I'm presenting this afternoon, so I'm really excited about that. That also means that I'm pretty sure this weekend I'm just gonna be so tired and I'm gonna wanna spend time with my kids. So I thought I'll do a video while I'm here and I have some time and I'm gonna to touch base with you guys about one of the round tables that I went to. So one of the sessions was a 90 minute session broken up into 30 minute slots and there were like, I don't know, 20 something tables that you could go to where each table was set up with a different presentation discussion um, on different topics. So the first one I went to was about using uh, video, using film, radio, social media to enhance communication with our students. And it was, oh gosh, correct me if I'm wrong, Glenn Wood High School who um, had set up this amazing system of kids um, are they controlling the social media for the school and there's all sorts of guidelines and restrictions and everything around that and rules and lots of development for the kids to understand how that works and they set up this news station in their school with like a green screen and the kids would do the announcements because they realized you know people weren't paying attention to communication and the kids had real ownership over that they've even got uniforms when there's like a school event for cameras and things like that they know which students are do not publish students so there's no risk there um, they live stream things on their Facebook page for the school and just the results were really phenomenal it's something I've always wanted to do I mean, you guys know my interest in social media and video and everything. Uh, I've wanted to do it, but in a primary context, I didn't know if it would work. So seeing it in a secondary context and seeing how successful it was, I've taken away some really good ideas that I think I can put into practice in my particular setting. Not necessarily copying it because, you know, it's secondary, it's different. I think there'd need to be a bit more teacher input into something like this for primary, but there's definitely ideas there that I can take away. I went to another one called... Uh, no nurture through nature which was all about enhancing student well-being by you know outdoor learning and environmental learning and being with nature and it's exactly what i'm working towards in my current context we're building on our school farm and our gardens and things like that so that really worked well and there was one particular teacher there from new zealand who talked about how their school camp is directly tied in with ancestral um uh, significant places and that's where they go for their school camp and I'm like I never even thought of something like that specifically tying it with history for me when I think of camp I automatically go to PDHPE it's active it's sport it's health and all those sorts of things that uh, interpersonal skills and relationships I never thought of tying it in with history so that's now something I'm going to have a different view of when I go back to school and I start thinking of those um, different events that we can organize for our kids and generally being outdoors and you know embracing our environment because um, as wonderful it is to be at an expo like this it's a lot of robotics and coding and things like that and none of it sort of demonstrates how we can link with nature or being outside and embracing that and we know kids respond to being outside I mean lunchtime hello <laughs> so that's something definitely I'm taking away from that but the one I want to talk to you guys about was the table round table uh, where uh, Dan Hassler was at and I am so sorry I cannot I can't remember the name of the gentleman who was helping pose all these questions and running everything okay I'm going to interrupt here because I realized it was Tim Perkins he does wonderful stuff. This is him, and he works together with Dan. So for those of you who don't know, this is Dan Hassler. This is him on Twitter. I couldn't find Tim on Twitter anywhere, but they work together at Cut Through HQ. So you can see that's their, this is their Twitter page now, and you can find them on Facebook, and they have a website where you can find out heaps of information. They do wonderful things. So I'm so t sorry, Tim, because you're definitely part of this. And just to give you an idea, these are some of the companies that they have worked with in the past and what they shared was amazing. 
Um, this was all around, I guess, thinking about how you're going to tackle uh, the change that you want to create in your school, that positive change you want to create. Now, I'm going to, you won't see this, but I'm going to flip to my notes and I'm hoping that won't interrupt the video. So the first question that they posed to us was, what is currently happening for you now at school? And he described that as, what are your 3 a.m. thoughts, your shower thoughts, your car thoughts, you know, those things that are at the forefront of your mind right now that's um, that's taking up, you know, your thoughts and your planning and just to put those ideas down. And we didn't have to do this in the circle. This was just writing notes to ourselves or typing to yourself. So, you know, everyone put that down. And then he asked us, um, what's your biggest professional challenge at the moment? The actual challenge you are facing right now, professional challenge. So not those things at home that are impacting what's happening with you because, you know, you might have your kids on your mind or your partner on your mind or that sort of a thing, professional challenge. And then we wrote all of our ideas down. I'm just flipping back to make sure I'm, it says I'm still recording. Okay, I'll go back to my notes. And then it says, he said to us, okay, what's the real challenge? What's actually the underlying challenge from that professional challenge that you're facing at the moment? And I really encourage you, I'll try and type these questions under the screen as I do this so you can write them down and do it yourself. What is that real underlying challenge? So, I mean, I won't tell you what my biggest professional challenge is at the moment. If some of my team watch these videos and I don't want to, you know, breach any kind of confidentiality or anything like that. But ideally, I identify that one of the real challenges that is going on at the moment is just time poor teachers. Um, you know, our, our curriculum keeps getting packed in, more expectations, and then we see on social media that we're expected to do this and this and this and this. And you know, there's expectations from the community, from parents, from ourselves. And one of the big things was just time poor teachers. I had other things as well, but you know, that's a big thing that stands out for me. So I, I really try and make a conscious effort to make sure that if, if there are things that need to be done, I'm trying to allocate time for teachers to do that so it's it's done in a way that you know creates quality uh, education so and, but it's hard to create time you know we all have the same amount of time in a day it just depends on what we prioritize with it and what we do with it so after we went through that the next question was what do you want to come of this so what is the actual result you're looking for not not focusing on these are the problems there's time poor teachers I can't I can't create extra hours in the day so what is it that I actually want to come of this you know sit down and actually think what's the end game what's the end result is it a short term thing is it a long term thing because some of these things we can't fix overnight I keep telling people this is the Pantene treatment it won't happen overnight but it will happen. Um, and, you know, think of specifically what do you want to come of this? So it doesn't necessarily mean sitting down and, you know, setting a smart goal, but have a general think of what is it you want to come of this? And then the last thing that we focused on, and this was the really interesting part, it was all interesting, but this was great. Uh, the question was, what are you going to do? that you can have ownership over. Just sit down and write down a bunch. And then he started timing us and saying, right, one idea, write another idea, write another idea, forcing us to keep generating ideas, not just one thing that I was going to do. Um, so we went through and we said, what are we going to have ownership over? What's something that I can do? Once we'd written down all of these things, um, he then said, okay, now what's your bad ideas? What are the bad ideas that you could do for this? Like think of the really crap, terrible ideas that you could pose. Um, for these things and then we just started writing down you know funny ridiculous random bad ideas and then I was like actually that one's not really a bad idea I think I might move that to my actual idea column I, I don't think that's necessarily bad maybe that's a maybe idea I need to go back and talk to my team about this my exec my principal that might not actually be bad um, and then the last thing he asked us to do was go back and then underline or asterisk one of those particular things that you can do in the next five to seven days. What are you gonna go back to school and action right now? What can you do logistically in the next week? And then what we had to do was buddy up with the person next to us, swap emails, and we are going to have to email each other within a week to say, hey, have you done that thing that you said you were going to do? So it'll be completely random. So I have a note in my OneNote now that says email Kate. Hi Kate, I will be emailing you. Um, to check on the particular thing she said she's going to do. And I kind of like that because now I know, oh, I'm going to be getting this email from this random person saying, hey, have you done this? And I don't need to respond. There's no onus, there's no responsibility or anything for me to go, oh yeah, I did it, it's all good. It'll just be like, that's right. I, I said I was going to do that in a week. I'm going to hold myself accountable for that and she's going to help me do that. So 
I would really encourage you if, if you've got a, a team of people you're working with or if you just want to try that yourself, write those questions down for yourself and have a go at it and really do the thing at the end with the bad ideas and write down the things that you think are terrible because you might just come up with a gem in there or if you share it with your team, they might just go, actually, I thought of that too and I don't think it's a bad idea. Maybe we should try it and see what happens. I mean, even if you share it with your whole staff, this I thought this was a bad idea. Let's try it. <laughs> if you own the fact that I think it might be a bad idea to do, but you know, you want to give it a go, give it a go and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to leave it there because I need to get going off for some interesting workshops now. So I will leave my button down the bottom there. If you haven't subscribed, just hover over that click to subscribe. If the video was helpful or interesting, or you're going to try those questions, give me a thumbs up if you're going to try those questions and I'll leave another video there for you as well. Have a great weekend guys. Bye.